I need to get this output from this long description. How can we do that in Excel? Now, anytime you're trying to extract a subtext string from a larger text string, you have to find a pattern. And it looks like the pattern is, hey, get everything after the first space and before the second space. And to do that, we're going to need to find the position of the first and second space. In cell C6, we can use search. The text we want to find is a space, so we have to put it in double quotes, and comma, within B6. And search will count left to right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Down here, it'll count. 5, down here it'll count 3. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now we'll take that information and I want to replace everything from the first position up to the fourth position with nothing. So in the top cell I hit F2 and we'll use the replace function. The old text, that's B6, comma, we're going to start at position number 1, comma, and number of characters, 4. We come to the end, comma, and the new text is nothing. And the syntax in a formula for nothing is double quote, double quote, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. So we removed everything up to the first space. Now, from this second text string, if we knew the position of that space, we could take everything from the left up to that space. So in the top cell, F2. And we're going to reuse this formula element. So I'm going to highlight Control-C. And then right after the equal sign, I'm going to say, hey, please give me the left of all of that, comma. And then within that replace, we need to search for a space, comma, within. Control V. Now this will give me one position too many because I don't want the space. I want up to the 0. So I subtract 1 and close parentheses. That's our formula. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now if we come to the top cell and hit F2, anytime you have formula elements that are repeated, we can make the formula more efficient by using the amazing let function. So I'm going to copy this. And let is in Microsoft 365 equals let name 1. That's where we put the name of our variable. Remove before space, comma, name value 1. That's where we put our formula element, control V. Now when I type a comma, we can define more variables or make your calculation. We're going to make our final calculation here. Left, I type RB, and look at that. The X icon means the variable is available, tab, comma. And now we need to search within RBS, comma, to find a space. When we close off, we have to subtract 1. And close on the left, close on the let. And the beauty of let and defining a variable is it only has to calculate this once because it stores the value and reuses the value later in the formula. When I Control Enter, double click and send it down. Over here, it had to calculate that formula element two times. Here, it only had to do it once. All right, here's bonus number one. We're going to use the left function, but inside of left, we're looking at that text. But I want number of characters to be 16, so I get everything before the second space. And the way we do that, we'll look for the space within B6. But I'm going to use the third argument. And when I use the third argument, I need to say, where should I start? And I want to start at position 5, which is the T. So I say, hey, look for the first space and add 1. So if I F9 this, that gives me 16. F9 the whole left, that's everything before the second space. Now all I have to do is replace everything before the T with nothing. Control Z, and that's our formula. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. All right, here's bonus number two. 
This is a crazy one. Filter XML, and you can go check out this video, Excel Magic Trick 1685. There's a link up in the corner. And Filter XML splits by a delimiter and delivers a list of values. So it's splitting by the space. And since that is delivering a list, I just use it inside of index and say, please get the second one. All right, here's bonus number three. If you've converted this to an Excel table and you don't mind using Power Query to extract it off to the side, then we can go up to Data, Get and Transform, From Table Range, select the column, go to Transform, over to Extract, and we can extract text between delimiters. Start delimiter space, end delimiter space, when we click OK, bam, now we can home, close and load, close and load to. Table existing, let's put it in D11, click OK. All right, in the comments below, which one of the formulas did you like? Old school, newest school of all with let, this old school formula, new school filter XML, or was it Power Query?